here is the throttle body for uh, Toyota Corolla 2001 model and this is you can see just uh, had been come off of the car and carbon is there deposit is there inside and of course hmm, whatever this uh, uh, IAC is concerned here is the IAC idle air control and this will be dirty inside and uh, these are the water lines coolant lines which are coming from the engine uh, one is bringing coolant in and then the other is taking off this is for some preheating or something like that process and they, they will be closed you know, what I am suspecting because this car had not been maintained for a long while the throttle body is telling its condition you can see from the condition it is dirty uh, it's not cleaned so we will do cleaning on and uh, for the purpose what we are going to do is this IAC idle air control actuator motor you can see uh, here these uh, screws are bad they are uh, some five sided uh, star screws Toyota maybe have some special tool for this but we are not going to purchase any special tool for this uh, instead what the people are doing they are going to change these screws with the regular one and my way is I have to cut slot in uh, by that way you can even remove them uh, removal is by some way by any way you can do it by hammering by screwdriver method or what, whatever method you can use a flat screwdriver uh, you can remove them and then later on either you have to replace those or either you have to make a slot before also i did a video on this one and uh, people had been helped by my throttle body video they made service uh, thousands of people made service on their throttle, throttle body they made good they obtained very good results that's something that's something uh, good for me a good news that is the aim of the videos my videos uh, this is these videos are actually helping diy people uh, so i am achieving my goal by this way and uh, here i'm going to make the slot in front of you in that video i think i did the same thing and here also i'm doing the same thing so just you have to put your nail somewhere here like this and just uh, don't ruin uh, using a hexa or something blade hexa blade you have to uh, but don't ruin your nail or finger uh, just guide it and then later on we will remove it some way like this you have to cut a slot so while you will cut a slot you will be able to use a regular screwdriver to uh, tighten and loose this screw so this is what is a more modification method for uh, this screw that was the procedure is also okay that you have to remove them and uh, replace with new screws but uh, new screws uh, for sure you will go to some parts store to obtain them to purchase them and that is what I don't want now because uh, such a time is not available with me I have a time for this one but not a, a good time available to go to the parts store because parts store is way far from here so the feasible method is to make it as a groove because this will be needed once while we will fix it once the calibration will be required by this way we will make a calibration and later on while we will make again the or somebody will make maintenance on this throttle body so then it will be required to open or tight these screws so by this way you can see just we can do our tightening or opening whatever is required we can do it uh, same procedure we will repeat with the other screw the other screw is over here same on the other side of the IAC or idle air control the screws heads are not very hard uh, they are just soft metal so you can cut them very easily using a hexa, hexa blade So the slot had been cut in the other screw as well you can see so by this way we can open it or tight it or whatever is required these are the two purposes of a screw to open or tight and to hold things uh, integrated something like that okay so we are going to open them now 
and the parts we will just remove from to see the anterior and uh, to clean or wash this throttle body actually the throttle body cleaning is a regular process one should do after a certain uh, time if the car is running regularly for a certain while so the throttle body maintenance should be done because uh, the throttle bodies are accumulating dust and uh, carbon deposits inside from air which they are passing so that's why uh, these uh, particles are must to be removed otherwise the car will not behave good I mean to say that the idle speed will not be good which is a headache so something like this you have to remove it and if we turn it just you can see just it's not turning we cannot turn it we cannot rotate it so this is what is a sign of a bad throttle body you remove the actuator from and try to rotate it it is not rotating it should be rotated very very much freely but it is not so this throttle body needs a sure repair so what we are going to do with this one at the moment so next step is to remove these screws I already opened them I hit it this screw because this was rusted you will see the rust inside and uh, that's why it was not coming off very easily using a screwdriver instead uh, with a sc flat screwdriver I just hit it, it and then it came off so you can see it's rusty just rust is there because the coolant is passing through this way the, that's why some coolant made it rusty others are good So just remove it and another thing of course you can see these lines which are bringing coolant over here they are uh, just clogged inside just uh, material the water accumulation water or coolant material is there you can see lot lot of material is coming off what will be the situation of the jackets inside the engine you can predict from such a gunk which is coming off of this throttle body this is actually a cavity this is not something they put the material inside and I am removing that that's not the case the case is this had been deposited the owner of the car you can think about him what he did with this one he just pour regular water inside he was not even in intention to use distilled water for as a coolant so that's why this much deposit is inside this thing and how much will be the deposit in the how much was the deposit in the uh, radiator you can predict from this thing but the thing is the good news is we replaced the radiator for this car before a certain while and here this gum or this gunk you can see just uh, what I can say salts are coming off calcium deposits salts these are coming off of these uh, cavities so something a badly maintained car never ever maintained a throttle body I think but it was running just the owner of the car was an intention to run it by any mean something very bad and inside the throttle body you can see just barely it is wiggling while I'm putting force on so the thing is this is gummed inside there is gunk uh, the way is first we will remove this gunk from here these lines we will remove using a plier we can remove them uh, maybe this will be easy job or maybe it will need a little bit force because uh, you can see the situation the condition everything is uh, salty so maybe yeah like this I'm afraid they must not be broken I think they will be broken uh, well let us see if they will become broken break we will put new pipes in okay so this one also we have to remove so first remove its uh, clamps same is the situation for this one you can see even the pipes are clogged as well inside 
because uh, of course the salt was there inside and uh, just we will try to clean them inside but I don't think they will be cleaned instead what we will do is we will have to put some new uh, pipes inside something we will do with this one and of course this part we will clean that is that is what I will show you later the cleaning not the pipe fixation the pipe fixation I will do by some machine shop or something like that and then we'll fix this throttle body by some way so here uh, we are going to wash this uh, throttle body first uh, step is to remove this uh, gasket gaskets should be not there because we are going to use gas uh, to wash it so gas is something uh, which is creating problem with the gaskets so this is this should be removed now is the this part we first we have to wash it inside because this is sticking as you see uh, this should be free to move mm. we are going to put it in the cleaning pan and then gas regular gas i'm going to use to wash this part you can use any solvent of your desire but for me the gas is okay now here this part i'm just going to wash the water cavity also we have to clean it this is not required the reason is uh, these pipes are very very much fragile or rusty i'm not going to uh, make the water circulation in as at the moment it was not you can see the pipes and everything is uh, blocked and they are just very close to breakage breaking breakage and uh, whatever or not so just uh, wash the part inside we are interested in the air part which is over here this one so the way is we have to knock it in the gas so this gas we have to pour to the side and then new gas we have to put there should be no debris and then put this gas in the throttle body piece like this and try to move it inside but still it needs a little effort so we will make that effort over here to remove the gunk from from the inside on the hard ground maybe it will come off yeah successful as you can see now the plate is about to move it's still restricted but it's moving now now it's become free so this is the way we have to knock it so the knock will bring the debris off this is what the easiest way I found working on throttle bodies so now you can see how free it is moving this should be free like this free like this so now it's okay so still we will wash it clean it and then we'll fix it in its place all the junk material or whatever the dirt we will remove from we'll try to remove all the dirt from from the interior still material is there inside the dust is accumulated inside with the oil carbon deposits so these, these must be removed from and again we have to knock it so now you can see no more debris and uh, this part is now ready to go inside the throttle, throttle body so the throttle body also we have to wash this plate and these cavities we have to wash them from the internal side also this is important because the debris should not be there on the plates even because that will restrict the airflow and will create an uneven operation which is something not desirable So same way we have to clean all passages and here also we have to clean it clean this area because here the air passage is 
so the dust should the dirt should not go again to the ayak valve by moving this uh, throttle plate inside we have to clean the part inside and give some special attention to this so that we will wash it perfectly how clean this will be the performance will be good so give some time to do this job don't make it very very much fast because if you will make it fast you will leave the dirt inside and the job will not be perfect so something like this and now is the time to wash it perfectly some way like this so now as you can see this throttle body is way cleaned as compared to before and everything is nice so we will fix everything back and this will be the assembly the assembly i'm not going to show if you are interested how to assemble it watch my other video uh, and in there i just uh, show everything every detail so that video is for you then and this was the introduction video once again to the people who did not watch that video uh, hope this video will work for you and you will be able to work on your throttle body yourself and hope um, this will be helping to you as as well as the other video helped thousands of people and they did the performance uh, they did the work on their throttle body and they got nice performance thank you for watching stay tuned keep on watching and subscribe the channel like also